Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Muse. I am speaking with Meredith. First of all, Meredith, happy Friday. How are you feeling? How's life been for you this week? Oh, it was a busy week. We um, had the pre-launch for uh, the Laundry Lady laundry detergent sheets, and it went really, really well. And so we're excited because we open up to the public on Monday, April 1st. I love that. And I see you're wearing the Laundry Lady merch. I love yes. that so much. That is so cute. We'll get into all of that here in just a little bit, and we'll give you the opportunity to speak further on that. But first of all, congratulations. That's a huge deal. Now, what I love about you and what I find extremely appealing about your content in general, I'm sure others find this extremely appealing as well, is you have this authentic factor to you that is so... And we love authenticity. We love that so much in 2024 with social media. The realer you are, the the better it goes. But what I love about you is how authentic you are, especially from like a spouse and a mom's point of view. Talk to me about this this deciding factor for you when you started to go on your content creation journey. What was it like opening up and showing this side of you and and really just having that filterless type of approach? What did that look like for you? Uh, I think it was probably uncomfortable for others. Um, le- you know, it was actually very comfortable for me because that's who I am. I've said from the beginning that um, this is what you get. And if you want something else, you have to go somewhere else because mm-hmm. I wasn't seeing that on the internet. I wasn't seeing that in mom groups. I wasn't seeing it from other, you know, from creators. Um, I wasn't seeing the crying in the closet. And I wasn't hearing about arguments that spouses were having. And I wasn't hearing about how hard it was to raise kids. It was just a lot of, um, you're going to miss this one day and you need to be grateful for what you have. And there was really no room in the mom space for moms to just kind of feel their feels in that moment and just kind of be like, today was a really tough day. Not only did my kid pee on the floor, but I got in a fight with my husband and I forgot one of the bags at the grocery store and I forgot to drop off my kids, you know, music chorus uh, shirt for the dress rehearsal and blah, blah, you know, and all of the things that kind of happened on top of that, you worked all day Mm -hmm. and then the dog had an accident, right? I mean, it's just, you know, one of those things that that's what actual life looks like. Mm Mm-hmm. And actual life, it's, I I feel like when you filter it so much, you put all of these filters on it, then it's it's not recognizable to reality anymore. And I just, to me, that's, that's not who I am. So I, I would rather be who I am and find other people who are like me and be able to have our little, what I say, our little corner of the internet where we can vent and commiserate, but also share and be overjoyed for each other and, you know, go through this journey because that's, that's the, that's where I am right now. Right. I mean, I've, I've been on the internet now nine years and I was just on a live and my internet friends watched my 18 year old son walk in. It's his birthday today. Mm -hmm. And they were all singing happy birthday in the chat, you know, like to him, they, there are some people that are in this, in the feed that have watched him since he was nine. Wow. <laughs> and so, cause we've been on, we've been publicly on the internet for 10 years, nine with video and they've watched him grow from a nine-year-old to an 18 year old. And it's crazy. They email me and they're like, can we send him a birthday gift? It feels like this is just a family friend's kid. Like, can I send him a graduation? Just the outpouring of love from that community is just, it's so overwhelming in such a great way that it's, you know, it's just wonderful. That's amazing. Well, first of all, tell him I said happy birthday as well. Okay. That's, that's phenomenal. Like you said, I mean, you've been on the internet for such a long time. I think it's really interesting again, with your approach and the way that you navigate your content, I think it's very necessary in the way that you, in the way oh that you God. carry yourself for, oh, you're fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. My dog has gotten a hold. That's the fun word. If it, wouldn't, if it wouldn't be, <laughs> <laughs> she got a hold of a toy that I knew was loud, that I, sh- that I specifically moved and she got it anyway. That's it. Hey, it's okay. My cat was sleeping in the bedroom. I thought I pulled the door closed and he's over here snoring right now. And if there's a 50-50 shot, we're going to get a cameo from Leroy. I understand. I love it. <laughs> Leroy, I love that name. We've got two cats and two dogs. So somebody will be in frame at some moment. I can guarantee it. 
Absolutely. That's the fun of these interviews, I will say. Mm -hmm. We've had plenty, plenty of people with their pets and being able to see the full transparency of what goes on, obviously interviewing from home. That's the that's yeah. the fun of the bit at this point, you know? Exactly. Um, I, I think that your content is really great because of your authentic factor. I mean, I know for, for my mom, for example, I'm an only child and, you know, my mom, she was a stay at home mom. And I think that there's something that's really beautiful about that because she's sacrificing all of these opportunities for her, for me really at the end of the day and to really make sure that she's there for me. And my dad obviously was on the other side of that. And he was the one carrying the family. So I love seeing people like you who really, you know, you're pioneering and you're breaking down a lot of these barriers and you're using social media to show the the good, the bad, the stressful and everything in between. I'm curious to know when it comes to, obviously you had quite a reactionary response, I'm sure, to the fact that your content doesn't have a filter on it, which again is completely necessary. But what do you do when you read the comments and you have these unsolicited opinions from users that are on social media and giving their two cents into your life? D did it ever affect you? Does it still? Do you just not read them? How do you navigate that? Of course, you have to have a reaction. You're human, right? So you can't just turn that off. And it's 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 one thing to say, you know, don't read the negative, only read the positive, because that's what's important. And those are the people that matter. And of course, that's true. But that's not what real people do. They go in and they're looking at everything. And um, <clears throat> I did learn, I did learn a lesson that I, I don't go in and um, I go in on all of my stuff and reply to comments. But if I see somebody that's just, you know, tearing in, um, sometimes I have a little fun with it, you know, and sometimes I just reply back and I'm like, I'm confused as to why you're here. This is definitely not the page for you. Um, and you're an anniversary follower. So you've been here a while. So <laughs> the fact that you come and you troll uh, for sport is like, all right, great. You know, that's fine. I they Everybody's allowed their opinion. I'm not going to say that you can't come to my page and not have an opinion. Go, that's that's your right. Go right ahead. Uh, but if you start, you know, slamming on my kids or slamming on, you know, my husband or different things like that, you know, I'm going to I've I've obviously in, in 10 years blocked people. And mm -hmm. that's my right because this is my content as well. But um, everybody's uh, allowed to have their opinion. Um, but if you get nasty or gross or weird, you know, you're not going to be welcome to continue to leave your comments. And it's funny because people, my internet friends, as I call them, our community, they get offended for me and they just go to town and it's like, no, no, we don't, we don't have to do that. I appreciate the love and the support, but like we don't have to do that. And cause they want, they're like, you're our friend. We have to like stick up for you. And I'm like, I get that. I really do. But you don't have to, because this person who's writing these nasty things has been hurt. Mm -hmm. So there's something that, that, that I am triggering in them that they don't like and that's okay, but that's not our baggage. That's not our thing to clean up. That's, you know, so I will just reply, have a blessed day, <laughs> have a great week go about your business. It's all good. Um, but you can't spend time living there. Uh, and it truly is. There are like this year alone and we're, we're in, you know, end of March, 2024. So we're only three months into the year, but I can tell you this year alone, my community has been so supportive of new ventures of my kids, of my family, of the fact that my husband and I are going through marriage counseling I mean, I put it all out there. I, I told them I will be, uh, I will be transparent with you. I will, I will let you know. I mean, I had to post a video because there were so many people talking about how my husband and I were getting divorced because I mentioned marriage counseling. And I was like, no, we're, we're trying to avoid divorce by going to marriage counseling because we've been married. This is our going into our 21st year. Wow. It takes work, yes. hard work. It takes dedication and you have to show up for that person every single day and it's not going to be easy. And if you go into marriage thinking it's going to be easy and you're always going to be happy, that's, you're going to have a rude awakening. And so I talk about it. I love that you talk about it. I think that it's so important. And, and I feel like the human condition, I say this a lot to, to people that I speak with, but I feel like the human condition in 2024, especially is like, we just want to relate. We want to know that somebody else out there is going through the exact same thing that we are, whether, whether it's somebody in a marriage that's maybe they're, they're in the same kind of situation as you were. They're like considering the counseling, but 
maybe it's taboo in the area of the country that they right. live in. You know, I grew up in Virginia. Counseling and therapy were not very much of a thing like it is out here in LA. I don't know mm-hmm. anybody who's not in therapy out the, out here. <laughs> I don't know anybody who's in therapy over there, you know, and yeah. no shade to either side of the country, but it is what it is. Right. Um, so I love the fact that you're so transparent about that. And and you mentioned that you you basically kind of have this disclaimer with your family that you're going to put things out on the internet and it's to help and serve others. Is there anything in particular that you deem or constitute as like, this is off limits and I'm not going to share this or, or sure. meetings and check-ins or like what kind of would be like your determining factor as to what makes it on the internet versus what stays behind closed doors? Well, as I said before, my kids have grown up sort mm-hmm. of in front of the camera with me. And so I, d- I have to be respectful now where if I shoot something or I catch a conversation and I think it's hilarious, but my 15 year old daughter doesn't. And she says, don't share that. I don't share that. Right. I, I mean, I'm going to ask them first before I go posting. Now, if I'm live and they walk into the shot and they do something, I'm like, you know <laughs> that I'm live right now. But if we're, you know, if we were talking about something or whatever um, and, and I say, I'm going to post this, if they say, don't, please don't post that, then I'm not going to post it. Mm-hmm. Um, of course they are, you know, I'm not, I, I, you know, I'm not here to, um, obviously I don't want to hurt my kids' feelings ever as a, as the mom though, I am usually the one that is being blamed for things, but, uh, I don't want to hurt their feelings. I don't want to put things out there that they don't want discussed. But if I ask them, Hey, can I post this? And they say, yeah, then I want to, I do want to use it as a teaching teachable moment for other parents, because it's a lesson that I was learning or a lesson my kid was learning. And I want to talk about it. Um, so I think it's important that when your kids hit a certain age, And they start to get, you know, they could be embarrassed by something or they don't want it out there, then respect that and don't put it out there. Most definitely. Very, very well said. And I love that approach. And I think that that's the best way. It's the healthiest way. And that way, everybody in your life and everybody on the internet is is mutually benefiting from what it is that is discussed that you guys are able to put out there. And then obviously what doesn't make it on the internet. Um, I would love to shift gears. I would love to hear all about the laundry lady. Talk to me all about the inception of this and then where you're at currently. Feel free to show the product. The floor is your go for it. Yeah. It's, it's crazy, right? Like I don't, I know it's weird to love laundry as much as I do. And I've, I've said, you know, people have asked me like, why do you fold your laundry on the internet with people? Like, why would you do such a thing? And it's just, it is, you know, I go live most days at one o'clock Eastern And I sit and I'm folding laundry because I've got three teenagers and this started years ago. I started doing this and it was just a way to connect with people, have a conversation, get a chore done. Um, And I didn't always love laundry, right? I think I would see the mountains and mountains and mountains of clothes and just be so overwhelmed with toddlers and little kids and just think, I wish the laundry would go away. And there was this moment where I was staring at the mountain of laundry one time and, and it actually switched for me. And I thought, if the mountain of laundry wasn't here, that means we're not here or we're nudists. And that's, I don't <laughs> want to do that either. So that means we're alive. It means we're, we're living our lives. A full laundry basket is a good thing. It means we're on the right side of a dirt nap and I'm good with that. And so it kind of switched my perspective. And I started really thinking about laundry as it's my love language, right? It's something that I can do for my family. Um, I wash it, I fold it. It probably nine times out of 10 sits on the living room table and never gets put away in anybody's drawers, but it's there for them when they need it. Right. And it's, it's just, it's sort of my, my gift to them is like, I'm doing this for you. I want you to have clean clothing. And I had this thought, it was over two years ago where I was like, what if I could help make other moms laundry, this chore that they dread? What if I could somehow make it easier for them? And what if I could also make it better for the planet? Because I was so tired of buying plastic jugs, massive plastic jugs that are heavy and they're full of chemicals that we don't need in our uh, water, in our uh, in our earth, in our clothing, around our families. What if we could find a way to make it good for you, good for the planet, and just make the task that is laundry easier for you? And that's when I had the idea for the laundry lady. And the reason I named it The Laundry Lady is because I was on a news interview one day where I was promoting my book and the anchor forgot my name. 
Oh. And she got me on live and I was on, you know, WBXJ, whatever. And okay. she just looked at me and she's like, you guys know her. This is the laundry lady, the lady that folds her laundry on the internet. And I just chuckled. And she was like, when we got off the air, she was like, I'm so sorry. I just blanked. I don't know what happened. I said, I'm not offended at all. I am the laundry lady. I, I've, you know, it's what I do is I fold my laundry on the internet. And so when I started this project, I knew I wanted to call it the laundry lady. And um, so it is, uh, this is the laundry lady. This mm -hmm. is 60 loads of laundry detergent sheets. All of this will fit right on your shelf. And this is what a, one sheet looks like. Oh, and that wow. is completely plant-based, plant-powered, 100% um, recyclable, biodegradable, safe for all um, septic sewer systems. And, um, you know, it's got our little little tagline, wash, dry, fold, repeat on there. Um, we have a scented and a fragrance free, but you can literally, this is, this is all you need sitting in your, in your laundry room. No more jugs that end up, don't, don't end up getting recycled and they don't biodegrade and they just sit in landfills places. No more putting toxic chemicals back into the earth. And so if I can be some sort of a driving force to getting people to switch over to laundry detergent sheets and doing something good for both their family and the planet, every one of these that I sell is, it means that we're winning and we're, you know, helping out Mother Earth. And so to me, from one mother to another, hmm. that's what I really had this dream about doing. And what better way to do that than with something that's your love language, right? Like laundry is mine. That's phenomenal. I, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I have two loads of laundry in now. Um, I didn't even realize that laundry, um, I mean, obviously I know the dryer sheets are a thing, but I didn't realize that you could do that with the, how did you, how did you come into the detergent process and getting that into a sheet? I didn't even honestly know that was a thing. I'm, I'm switching because I can't, yeah. the jugs. they're crazy. It it's drives crazy. Me so I had, I was talking, I was talking with, um, uh, who eventually became my partner in this venture. I was talking with them and, and I said, I do not want to bring another liquid detergent onto market. I said, there are better ways. I said, there are a couple companies out there already that I know of because I was already in sort of this, like I gave up paper plates and I gave up plastic silverware and I gave, because I was like, what little ways can I make an impact as a mom of three? What ways can I make an impact? And I was like, I, you know, no more paper. Like I was getting rid of things that I knew were going to sit in landfills places. And so when we were talking, I was like, look, I've seen these detergent sheets out there. I know they exist. I know we can find a way to make our own, improve them, find, come up with the best formula, find out a way that we can make an impact. And so that's exactly what we did. And we found a factory um, in Sweden that has this stunning record that is huge with EPA and FDA regulations and is top notch. And it took two years. It took all of two years to get our detergent seats exactly where I wanted them. And um, I'm just so proud of the product. And it's such a passion project. And I, I'm just over the moon. And we did really, really well in pre-sale and coming to market on Monday. I just cannot wait to open these to the public. And obviously, I want to offer a bunch of other products. This is what we're coming out to market with. But I have big goals for a big laundry lady empire that is going to make a positive impact on the planet. That is so amazing. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations you. again with all. I am so excited for you. Thank where you. where can our where can our audience find the product? Where are they able to get this when it comes to market in a couple of days? So they can go to laundrylady.co and okay. right now if they were to go there, they would see uh, we're collecting emails so that we can alert people to deals, sales, new products, things like that. So when they do go there, they can grab a product as well as get on the mailing list so that they can see when new things are coming, when we have promo codes. So we're just we're just really excited. We collected thousands of emails so far already, and the first alert is going out today um, to let people know that Monday is coming and it's and that will be the official public launch. So we're really excited. Um, you know, we just we wanted to make sure that every bit of this product was going to be recyclable, biodegradable, good for you, good for your family, good for the planet. And so it did take a lot of time. We didn't cut any corners. And I feel 
really, um, it just, I don't know, it just, it's such a, it feels good to, in my soul that this is how it came out to be. And so I'm really proud of it. And we had a lot of great people working on this with us and, and we're literally packing and shipping right out of our, um, office, um, to keep costs as down as we possibly can, um, to avoid, uh, until we grow and we can, you know, do drop shipping and things like that. But right now it's just, it's me and my well, assistant and my husband, and we're just packing and shipping. That's incredible. Well, and I love this so much because you hear of people that have social media platforms, you know, content creators. I try to, I try not to call them influencers, but some like being called influencers. It just depends. Um, in this case, this is very influential though, but I, I love the fact that you created this type of a product. It's, it's from a mother, like you said, to Mother Earth. I love that factor. I love the fact that you're able to have that environmental factor obviously accounted for. It's very on brand for for a mom. I mean, my mom, I'm 27. My mom still does my laundry when I go home and I get yeah. so excited. I'm so grateful. I just yeah. think that this is a really great business move for you. And I think that this is so wonderful. And I love the way that you're giving back to the environment and that you're you're really, I feel like you're really pioneering something monumental that people are going to really be um, woken up to. And I think it's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to go place an order as soon as we <laughs> are done. <laughs> if the whole thing is, is if, if we can, if we can make little changes, right, mm -hmm. each of us can make little changes. It will, there's so many of us, it will make a big impact, right? So it's, you know, people just, I think they get so bogged down and they're like, I can't make all of these changes. And it's like little changes, tiny little changes. Like, just think about the fact that you don't have to lug in that jug anymore with, and that messy, all of those messy, I mean, it's mostly water and they're adding these chemicals and you're just pouring this down into your, into your machine and it's going into the earth. And it's like, I couldn't take it anymore. I was like, the, you know, it sounds so great. The madness must stop. You know, there has to be a better way. And I feel like, we could totally disrupt the market and take this to a place where it can be so positive. And if we have the ability to do so, why are we not? And so for me, um, you know, I said, I absolutely want to put my name on this, my brand on this, because this is what I believe in. It's a love of laundry. It's a love of the planet. It's a love of our families. And it can make such a positive impact. I love that so much. Well, thank you for sharing this with us. And obviously, to everybody, make sure that you go and 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 get your hands on this fantastic product. I'm so excited. I'm like I said, I'm going to go place an order as soon as we're finished because <laughs> I'm excited and I'm 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 right there with you. I mean, I live alone and it's like I don't like carrying all of these things down and well, they're the great for and... travel too, because yeah, when wonderful. when I, you know, we're gonna be obviously working to get, you know, travel size packs and all of these other things, but I'm going next week to Nashville for a conference and I'm going to stick two of these in, you know, in my suitcase. And I know I'm going to do one load of laundry while I'm there because I always do when I'm on a trip that's more than three or four days. Right. And that's it. I've, I'm done. I don't have to do anything except I've got it right there. So it's so perfect and easy. College kids, people on the go, older, um, older people who, you know, don't need to be picking up all of these heavy things and I mean, think about how easy that is to just drop that in. Right. And, you know, it's it's and I've never I've never been a fan of the pods. I've never done extensive research, but I'm like, I can't imagine throwing a pod in and it's plastic is going to be good on my clothing. In it's the not. I can't it's see not. How it and it's also not good for your machine. And we've found mm -hmm. that so many um, uh, we've been doing a lot of research on like apartment housing and different places that have built in units. And the rate at which they have to be replaced or fixed as a result of pods being used, because those microplastics get sucked up into and they clog the drain lines. And so they have back, I mean, it just, you know, it, you could talk, talk about it on and on for days, because there are just so many different things that are happening as a result of those. And it's, you know, these, uh, I shot a video yesterday, we shot our official commercial that will be coming out in a couple of weeks. And I literally just took a bowl of cold water from the faucet. I dropped it in and within two seconds, it was completely dissolved into soap. And I'm like, that's what, that's what this is. This is completely dissolvable. This is, this is, go this, this is just the soap now to wash your clothes with. That is it. I mean, you can literally hand wash. There's instructions for hand washing on here. I wow. mean, it literally just dissolves. So I can't wait to have that video up on the site so people can really see how quickly I did an Instagram story, um, which 
I forget that those disappear. So I'm like, go to my Instagram <laughs> stories. And people are like, that was three days ago. It's gone. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. Like, so I was like, <laughs> it needs to live on the website so people can see it and say, oh, this is, this is, you know, real. This is a, this isn't a trick. This isn't, you know, this is real. It's going to dissolve. And it does. And it plant, plant powered magic. I love it. I'm so excited. You have no, you gave me excitement now because honestly, I don't love doing laundry. It's not my favorite thing. I, I used to when I had an in unit. Now I don't have an in unit, you know? Yeah. So it's a whole process. And like you said, with the elimination of the jugs and just having something that's new and it's, it's exciting. And I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very, I mean, very excited. this is so easy to take to the laundry mat. Right. I mean, yeah. you just take, I mean, you're literally the, cause I do the same thing. We actually own a laundry mat. We own a lot. That's how much I love laundry. <laughs> we own a laundry facility and, um, I, uh, you know, we do a lot of wash and fold and different things like that. And people will come in, um, cause we wash and fold it for them mm. and they bring in their jugs and I'm like, you don't need your jugs. We've got you covered, you know, like it's all good. So um, you know, but you see people that are going down to wash these massive comforters and it's like, you don't need to bring all that stuff in, you yeah. know, you know, grab, grab the laundry lady. We got you covered. I love it. And the packaging is phenomenal too, by the way, thank I'm you. a sucker for packaging. Yeah. Well, it's very pretty. Congratulations on everything. I'm so excited. This is what I love to see when I, when I speak with content creators, it's, it's how you use the platform. It's how you're able to to raise awareness about other things that you're passionate about. It's about how you're able to, to start and launch a business and to be able to really give back to your fan base. This is exactly the type of way that I like to see a platform and its conversion perform. So I'm, I'm over the moon for you. I think this is so wonderful. Thank and, you. Uh, I really appreciate you guys having me on so we could talk about this because any opportunity I can, I want to shout from the rooftops about this because we've been kind of keeping it under wraps for yeah. Close to two year May will be the two year mark um, from when we started this. And so launching in April, just before that two year mark was really exciting because I was like, oh, we finally gotten here, you know, because it did take a long time. Absolutely. Well, I hope that we have the opportunity to speak again soon, obviously, as more products continue to unfold. No pun intended. Oh my gosh. Yes. Um, we'll definitely <laughs> have more conversations. We'll have more conversations. Before I let you go, I, I always have to ask this question because I love Viral Nation very much. I've been working with them now for just about a year. But what has it been like having the opportunity to sign and to work with with a team that's been, you know, obviously they're very passionate about their content creators and about supporting them and everything like that. Talk to me a little bit about your experience working with them and and any excitement that you have for what's to come. Oh, they're, they've been great. Like I said, this, through this process, they have been absolutely wonderful. And I'm just happy that I got to do this with them because I've known Matt for many years before Matt was married and had kids. And, and so our relationship, he was such a good guy to have in our corner. And when I wanted to do this, I knew to go to them and say, Hey, I know we can figure this out. I know we can find the best way to do this. And he said, absolutely, no problem, Mayor, as he says. And he, oh. and he said, here, here you go. And he put me over um, with his team with exactly who he thought that we, I should be working with. And it was just great. And I knew I could trust them. And they have really made this process, I think, you know, a success. So I'm, we're excited. We're really, really excited. And I can't wait to see what happens on Monday. Awesome. Well, keep us posted. We'll definitely stay in touch. And I'm I'm so proud of you again. Thank you so much for speaking with us and congratulations with everything. We'll definitely catch up again here soon as this continues to unfold and good luck with the launch on, on April 1st. I'm so excited. All right. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.